Hey everybody, back for round three, uh, playing my Mono Blue Merfolk deck in a Modern League. <coughs> uh, just showing uh, the deck list on screen right now. Uh, just did a rant about what's going on with the prices of Modern. Uh, you'll find that rant down in the, uh, the links below the video in the description. Um, yeah, here's that deck. Again, excuse me, watch that video and uh, get the details on that. Um, and you can go back and watch the first two videos in the league. You'll see I've now played Friend Rudy and Old Man Rudy. What Rudy are we due for next? All oh, the Rudys. Oh my god. So let's see what Rudy we get next. Just all the Rudys. Oh my god, Rudy. Seriously, if it's another Rudy, I, I give up. This is ridiculous. <laughs> okay, no more Rudy's. Fingers crossed. It's not a Rudy! Oh my god! Okay, we got the pretty brazen borrow borrower. Um, yeah, I can make this hand work, I think. It's not the best hand I've ever seen, but it's also not the worst. Make sure no one's saying good luck so I'm not being rude. Not entirely sure what deck this is. Probably an Urza build though, since we have Mox Opal. Let's just leave them guessing. I have two fairies now. Yeah, that's an Urza build. I'm gonna stick that back in their hand. Make them have to spend mana again. Yeah, this is why I need four Force Negations. Because there's this many Urzas going on. This is ridiculous. It really is. I don't understand how I'm expected. Oko, really? Really? Why does Urza need Oko? Do I bounce the food or do I bounce Oko? Or do I bounce the sword? I don't have any fucking good option now. Seriously, I don't know what I need to bounce at this point. I've never seen a fucking Urza deck playing Oko. Is this why the fuck Oko is almost 60 or 52 or whatever dollars now? If they replay Oko, they're in the exact same position, basically. The food token doesn't do hardly anything. This at least eats up their mana for a second turn. Why are you tiny again? Honestly, I wonder if I should just wait and play the borrower at end of turn. Borrower or trickster? Yeah, let's just wait and see what happens. God, is it just me or does this metagame feel a lot like Hogak? It's just Hogak with a different boogeyman. Yeah, here's the new boogeyman.
Um, do I... God, do I just turn off his thing? The construct? Exactly, do you exchange again? Artifact or creature for a creature that costs three or less. So, any of my creatures. And now all you have to do is tap food tokens to cast the sword. Forgive me, I need a second to think. I'm wondering if I use my other borrower to bounce the sword again, to waste their mana again, and then play a Lord of Atlantis to swing in since I have Island Walk, and then just start trying to work their life total down. God, I don't like being up against this deck. I really don't. This is the second one I've seen in this league, just with different frills. And I gotta wonder, should I hit Oko? Because in a second I'm going to be given a food token in place of my Lord of Atlantis. Because it takes five. I don't think they're going to kill Oko. So I think I could swing Trickster into Oko. So let's do that for sure. That's the easier play. I love having the card I really needed shoved in my face right now. That feels real good. I don't want to put Urza back in their hand just because then they get that damn token again. But Urza would eat up four mana, and the sword only eats up two. God, this is frustrating. Fuck it, we're bouncing Urza. Like, I genuinely don't know what the right answer is here. If there even is one. Like, there may not be a right answer. Like, every answer may just be a shit answer. So now if they zero out Oko to take my Lord of Atlantis, we know they've got uh, another Oko in hand. Yep. Two cards left in hand. There's the were. Two mana. What are you getting for two mana? Thopter Foundry. Did you really need the Oko to do all this? I 
and now they go infinite. So yeah, nothing I would have done on that turn would have mattered. So yet again, a uh, deck where I absolutely needed four Force of Negations. I had no chance of winning without them. So this is going to be the second round where I am priced out of competing in Modern. In case you guys ever wonder why I'm looking off to the side all the time, I've got a dual monitor set up, and like my camera is right here on the monitor that I play on, and then this is the monitor that my screen recorder is on, that I look over to make sure everything's recording properly, and it's got my camera, like my viewfinder that I'm looking at my camera to see if it's recording me properly. And I'm like making sure I'm in frame and shit. And I don't have like a fucking booger hanging out of my nose or something. Or like my tits not hanging out, you know. Oh, you're done for the turn. I'm not conceding. You're going to have to actually beat me with this damn combo. Wait, you time-sieved an extra turn? Okay. Have at it. Fucking time-sieve. Oh, Jesus fucking Christ. So that was a thing. So Brazen Borrower doesn't do shit. Um, I like Chalice, but I need to get it on two in this matchup. And I don't really have enough Cavern of Souls. I really need to up the number of these in here to make Chalice better. That way I can put it on two and still be able to play my cards uh, for games where I don't get like an Aether Vial. So I don't really feel confident playing it in a game where I need it on two. I don't need Spreading Seas in here. So what do I put in for Spreading Seas? Oh! Yeah, you do stop war, don't you? I was totally blanking on that, stopping from the library. That does work. Yes, I would like to play first. And we got a war stopper and a counter spell and a trickster. Yeah, I will keep this. Let's do it. No war for you. You gotta earn those cards by drawing them. See if you can do it the honest way. Not that your deck is very honest. Honestly, I think Urza and Mishra is kind of like a Tesla Edison thing. Where Urza stole all of his designs from Mishra and took all the credit. Mishra was the actual genius and just wanted to give everything away for free. By the way, I said it in a previous one of these videos. Uh, if you see me shifting around a whole bunch, um, I have a slightly torn ACL. And uh, it's, the knee brace I have is kind of uncomfortable. So I move around a whole bunch just to try and keep myself comfortable in my chair.
Hmm, I thought they would have taken the Deprive. That's interesting. Wow, I can play this whole hand at instant speed. I like that. Why didn't I play a trickster in a turn? That was a derp. I derped pretty hard on that one. Blame the pain meds I'm on. And look who's back. Not this time, Satan. Mystical dispute, oh my fucking god. <sighs> if that had been a force of negation, I would have had the three. Just saying. Yeah, having the trickster probably wouldn't have mattered. I'm gonna die to a snowball elf. Snowball elf. Snowball elk. Yeah, if you guys want to hear why I'm bitching about the Force of Negations, definitely watch the other video. Oh, why didn't I stop before the attack phase. Wow, I'm so bitchy, I'm just making player errors all over the place now. Scrapjigger's cage turns him off. Um. It just says creature cards, doesn't it? I'm just subconsciously giving up against this deck, I think. I mean, can you blame me at this point? It's pretty obvious I just don't care. I know I have no chance. spells. Yeah, I really don't know how that card works, apparently. That's my bad, RTFC. This is what I get for playing magic while high on pain meds. Well, at least you guys get to see me screw up.
What I want to know is who the hell this person lost to. Because they're 1-1 one, one like I am. Make another one, bitch. Make another one. This is me not caring anymore. Stealing my fish. Oh, you gave me a food token. How generous. I hope you know I'm totally using that food token. Just gonna always yield to this shit. There, do it all you want. No skin off my tits. Yeah, you have two snowball elks. And I die without your infinite combo. Woohoo, I lost to Urza twice. This is your lesson for the day, kids. Don't play magic while high on pain meds. Public service announcement brought to you by Jade Skywalker. Yeah, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. All the links over there are on the scrolling bar thingy. You guys know how it works. Hopefully we will not be so high in the next video.